What's up, brothers and sisters? I hope you guys are having such a blessed day today. Remember, the joy of the Lord is our strength. I'm Colton Kelly from Seeking Wisdom Ministries, and this is my brother in Christ, Emmanuel. Hi, I'm Emmanuel. I wanted to uh, for y'all to hear this dream that Colton had the other night. And last night. Last night. Last night. Yes, last night, and it's about the days that are to come, the mm. judgment, and everything else, so I'm passing it on to him. I appreciate that. You know, guys, I, I just want to say and give a little bit of understanding. I don't share every dream that I get from the Lord or that I just have because some, you know, it may not even have to do with the Lord. It just may be a dream. But I am directed by the Holy Ghost and I am led by the Spirit of the living God who lives inside of me, who lives inside of Emmanuel, and if you are born again, lives inside of you. Yeah. Now, this dream that I had last night was so vivid. I mean, I never heard so loud hearing in my dream the sense of hearing sometimes it's mostly muffled right you know in a dream when you're in it that state where you're kind of it's kind of blurry and you know it's like you're not really hearing much well this was not the case last night last night i was with um him and another brother in christ and we stayed the night at each other's houses and we're praying and worshiping getting the word and stuff like that and that night last night that i had the dream i woke up at 10 a.m it must have had the dream around i don't know what time exactly but i woke up and i just was in awe First off, the fear of God flooded me because he shared with me what was about to come upon this earth. And it shook me to my core. And I plead with you guys not to just skip over this video. Listen, because there is something in here that the Spirit of God is wanting to show you and warn you that is to come. All right, so this is the dream that I had last night, guys. I was in school, okay? And you know how in a dream, sometimes it'll transition to a whole nother scene, well, it was first I was in class and I was sitting down and, you know, I was just, I knew, you know, I knew something was coming. You know how you know something's about to take place? Well, I knew that there was an urgency set on my heart as I was sitting in school in my classroom. And I got up in the dream and I started walking. The bells rang, okay, and everybody's just going to the buses, right? You know how in high school there's a bus line, okay? And there's some other parents' cars coming to pick people up and all this type of stuff. Well, I started coming and, you know, everybody's hustling to get home because, you know, it's out of school and everything like that. Well, the Spirit of God spoke to me inside of that dream. And I heard it so loud, everybody, all the talking, all the people, all this and that, and the crazy stuff that happens in high school. And the Spirit of the Lord told me, it is here. And I'm like... Whoa, what do you mean? And then in my spirit, I heard something was about to take place. I didn't know, but something big was about to happen at this school. And as I came outside of the school doors, I look into the sky and it's just, it seems so normal. It seems like nothing. You wouldn't expect something big that it was about to happen. And I'm looking around, I'm looking around, you know, people are going in their buses. And then I see in a distant, like, I, I, it honestly seemed to me like some type of, library okay in the distance right across from the school and all you hear from the normal you know talks of everybody getting on their buses and the, and the cars and the the buys and the hellos and all this type of stuff boom, an explosion okay and i kid you not i heard it so loud and it came with flames of fire debris went everywhere buses and cars flipped over people's body it was gory guys it was so vivid it was disgusting and i just i just got first off a second of a fear and then i was like jesus i screamed mm. and then boom boom it started getting more and more and the the whole sky turned red and and just dark Smoke started popping everywhere, and I'm like telling everybody, repent, repent, Jesus is here, Jesus is coming, this is judgment, and people are looking at me like, I'm, I'm crazy, like, 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 I'm crazy, because they're like, what, no, this, this is a war, or some people, they're thinking, you know, they're so into their carnal mind, they're like, no, terrorists, this and that, no, guys, <laughs> and, and then, as the bomb started getting closer and closer and closer, boom, 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 an earthquake just the whole the whole earth split open and then I got covered in flames and I was about to meet my creator and then I woke up and you know I say this with such a passion because I don't think that this is going to happen I know that it's going to happen I just don't know when and I'm never gonna predict a date but that's what the Lord gave me last night to come on here and share with you guys that this is serious it's time to get to know Jesus for yourself. 
Make Jesus your truth. Make the word of God your truth. Don't just talk the talk. It's time to walk the walk. You say that you're a believer. Okay, cool. That is amazing. The word says you believe in what there is one God. Good for you. Even the demons believe and tremble. But I say to you, instill, let the Holy Spirit instill to you the fear of God to where you just, it grips you and you are like, I don't want to live for myself. I want to live for the thing that I profess in, which is Jesus. Anyways, I'm going to let him share the supernatural experience that happened last night, um, right before I went to bed. And why he's here again, because, you know, he's from Austin, Texas. I live in Houston, Texas. So I'm going to let you do that, brother. Yeah, so as far as what happened last night, um, what, you're talking about going to the house? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talk so about how the Holy Ghost moved, literally. He, we called each other at 3 p.m. yesterday. Yes. We and he's already in Austin. Yeah, we called each other at 3, uh, around 3 p.m. It was, and it just, things started happening, and I just knew that, God started showing me things. He started showing me that we were supposed to go on a little trip around Texas. Right. And uh, he was showing me that we needed to draw a map out mm. and then put the dots. And he said, I don't just want you to go to the big cities, though we are going to the big cities, but not just to the big cities, but the small towns. And so I want, um, and, I, and I relate this with Colton, and I was like, if anybody lives in Texas, like, let just us know. let us know your location. Even if it's a small town, we want to know where you're at. Because we, I had this thing, and, and I believe it was God that put it in my heart. And he was speaking. He was also giving me, like, Bucky's gas station and, and things like that. And um, he was saying that we're going to spend, like, one or two days in every city. Mm. And even the small towns, we may stop at some small towns. And so let us know, really, where, where, where you guys are at and... We're really going to pour out as far as ministering, um, baptism, Holy Spirit. Baptism um, and water. If you baptism and water. Baptism and water. And, um, and discipling and teaching and showing people, go cast out demons, go live the walk that Jesus mm. did. And, and you're praying for anybody that has anxiety or fear, you know, come out and, and get prayer for. Uh, one of the things as well that I want to say is that uh, I want to share just a short testimony of what happened last night is that there was uh, one of uh, Colton's. Uh, good buddies and uh, brother in Christ that he uh, he said he was praying in the morning for somebody God to send somebody to and his house to his actually house to his house <laughs> and uh, to pray you know and and now I I feel like really something started there and not only that but um, one of the uh, so this is this is what I was uh, I was talking about the baptism of the Holy Spirit a lot of believers are walking around powerless you know mm. and. And we really need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But right. it's one thing just to, to me saying, like, you need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. If it, What does it gain you if I don't minister it to you as a disciple of Christ? Um, and so this is what we're doing. We want to go out there. If you have not received, I mean, there's this girl that received baptism of the Holy Spirit in 30 seconds last night. And yeah. I've seen this over Oof. and over and over and over again. And we just, we, we just, it's a quick prayer in faith to Jesus. He's the one that baptizes and you will be filled. It's the promise. You know, if the, you know, if you have a repentant card, if you want Jesus Christ to come into your heart, if you want to, if you're com just want to yield to his spirit, he will give freely. You and know? this and, is an important understanding that you, that a lot of people don't understand. There is one thing to just mentally acknowledge that Jesus is God. And that you want to accept it into their heart. But the, it's a totally different revelation when you come to the death of yourself. And you are at a repentive heart. You're, you're, you realize that your life is not your own anymore. That you are bought with a high price. The precious blood of Jesus, which is God in the flesh. And it's coming to the end of yourself and saying, God, I surrender. And you get baptized in Jesus' name and filled with his Holy Ghost promise to receive power. And I want you to share what you said yeah. about, you know, <laughs> hallelujah. Does the good. word say, did, does Apostle Paul say that I die to myself every other day or just on Sundays? Mm, or Mondays. Or no, he says I die to myself daily. daily. That means I kill my flesh, my old self. I kill it daily. I die to him. Daily, daily, so I can walk in the spirit and the newness of life. We have to protect it. We got to fight for it every single day. 
And we need to because, guys, there, there is a reality to God that not a lot of people get to tap into or ever be able to find out because they were so much into their will and the life that they wanted to build for themselves. Because since birth, and if you're especially in America, you're bir- you are conditioned to, you know, in school, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Hey, what do you want to do? What is you, 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 you? But how about do we ever stop and ponder? What did God want us to do? What does God want us to do? And are we willing to be yielding and surrendering our lives to the creator who has a purpose for you more than anything of yourself? And I want to say it's a longing in our heart. And every one of us, God has placed this longing to be used by God. Mm. And you're not going to be satisfied just sitting so much to say this sorry but like at a church you know and just listening to a sermon after sermon that is not being used by god that is not walking as a disciple as a slave to the lord if he's lord then that means we're slaves if he is king that means we understand that he is king king and we obey him yeah out of love and you know i'm gonna end it with this guys we're going on um the holy spirit leading is we're gonna go um, wherever the spirit leads, we're going to plan it the next coming days. But we wanted to let you guys know yeah. that, th- that the spirit is moving, that, that there's a lot of people who come reach out to me and even to him now at this point who, hey, I want to get filled with the spirit. How do I do so? Hey, I want to go preach the gospel. How do I do it? Hey, I want to go make disciples. How do I do it? Hey, I want to be baptized, but I don't have a church and this and this and the other and the other and the other. Well, guess what? If you live in Texas, okay, yeah. I take, I say to you, message us. Where are you from? Put in the comments what city in Texas because we're wanting to go and just be doers. Go yes. and preach the gospel. Go cast out demons. Go and walk the walk of the apostles and what Jesus commanded us to go and do. And yeah. and I'm just excited. I'm thankful and I'm grateful to God. And I just want to thank real quick for everybody who sowed into this ministry to make this possible. To make this ability to be able to go, you know, and just go on the move. And go and, you know, pray for people and give to people. Because that's what we're called to do. You know, I don't really speak much on finances on this channel. Because whatever, if the Holy Spirit is leading you, if the Holy Spirit is alive in you, and the Holy Spirit leads you to give, then praise God. Okay, I don't live for money. I don't care about money. Okay, I don't serve money. I serve the living God, and, you know, yeah. that's my only master. Now, money, if I serve the living God and I put my faith in Jesus, he provides all that I could ever want or think or need. So I just trust in him, and I thank you for all those who have sowed seed in seeking wisdom. And may God just bless you a hundredfold for your obedience. And I want to thank you again. Uh, but, yeah, that's what we're doing. Anything else you want to add, bro? Uh, just come out, bring your friend. Look, if you get baptized, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to help you baptize whoever you bring. We're going to, we, we want to make a disciple, make a disciple. It means that we equip, you right. know? Um, so it's not just for you to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. It's not for you just to receive healing, but it's then you turn, turn around and go. and go and do the same thing and pray for healing for somebody else. You can do it. If we, we're nobody, like we always yeah. say, we're nobody, nobody. special. But what we have been taught of the Lord and through others that God has used, we want to share with you, you know. So, Hallelujah. Um, come on, bring friends, bring Hallelujah. family. Hallelujah. You, know? you know, he's raising up warriors, guys. This is, this is the true gospel. This is the unadulterated, not watered down gospel, okay? And I'm just excited and I'm thankful to God because my joy comes from you know, being used as a vessel for God. My joy comes when people come to the saving knowledge of our Lord and our Savior. That's what I crave. I crave to be used for God and His glory. I pray I don't want glory myself. Emmanuel doesn't want his own glory. We're nothing. We acknowledge that we are dead to ourselves and that ourselves and our flesh and our iniquity and our everything that our rebellion was pierced onto that cross of Calvary, on the cross of uh, at Golgotha. We're dead. We're dead men walking, but guess what? We're alive forevermore because of the gift of the blood of Jesus. And and when you tap into that, guys, when you come to the end of your life and you say, I want you, Jesus. I want to follow you. Boom. If you meant it, I'm telling you the revelation and the love and the peace that he can give you is like no other. Because who the sun sets free is free indeed. indeed. All right. God bless you all. We're going to put all links in the uh, description for social media, for emails, and just reach out. Yeah, uh, we're going to try to, you know, I'm sorry for not getting back to everybody, at, you know, and as I can. But Let us know the location you live in because that's what we're going to use to, to map out the, the dots on the map of where we're going to go. And then we're going to present that map and you'll be able to know exactly what days we're going to be where.
and who knows what God is going to do. God changed yeah. plans like this, but we just yield. We yield. Um, anyways, God bless you all. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen.